Good morning. We are heading to Florida and right now it's snowing. We are at the Orlando airport. Now it's gonna be 82 degrees. And I want some coffee. We're all in Florida. We had a really hard time getting our rental car. Um, but we're insured now, so that's good. We are somewhere, I don't even know where. We made our way south to central Florida to meet up with natural horsemanship trainer, Nancy Slater. You come out here and you go, this is old Florida. Yeah. This is a real deal. Yeah. Right? We're surrounded by water, whether it's a creek, a canal, a lake, or whatever. So this is an island. Her beautiful place is home to a variety of equines, including two Florida Cracker horses, a breed known as Florida's official horse. And that's my brand, and this is the ships, Ponce de Leon ships on a coin. The Florida Cracker horses came on his ships. Wow. We grabbed a couple of bareback pads and got ready for our ride. So these guys were wild. My neighbor called me and, and he said, Nancy, you need to come with your horse trailer and take these colts. And I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine, you know. I had just lost my two older horses from old age, uh, 29 and 41. He goes, Nancy, you need to get your trailer and get these horses out of the cow pens. He called me a bunch of times. And the last time he called me, he goes, Nancy, the cows are coming in on Monday morning and these colts are wild colts and I gotta get them out of here. And he said, if they're still here Monday morning, Mr. Remington's gotta take care of them. So Nancy hooked up her stock trailer and brought the horses home. And got the name to prove it, huh and, bud? Yep, he was named after the gun that was gonna put him down. Nancy's passion for training started long before she got Remington and Graziano. And oddly enough, it wasn't even because of a horse. Like that mule you saw? Yeah. That was why I got into learning all of this. Because I was doing fine. I've been riding since I was four years old. Yeah. I was a barrel racer, all that, you know. That's how I grew up. Yeah. And then I got this mule I couldn't do anything with. I, I mean, I was like on the quest <laughs> like you to go find all the breeds. I was on the quest to fix the mule. <laughs> Trainers told Nancy to get rid of him. Not until I went to a tour stop, I saw this guy, Pat Pirelli, riding a Mustang a week after capture, and he was riding it bareback and bridleless and working cattle. And I went, hey honey, I wanna go see this guy when he comes to town, right? <laughs> and I got that with the mule. And I ended up riding him bareback and bridleless. Oh. I never, ever, ever thought that could happen. Josh, the mule, is now 27 and happily retired. Working with horses is a journey, one that is often full of challenges and learning experiences. But ask any equestrian, and they will tell you it is worth the ride. Hey, this is Alyssa with Discover the Horse. We're here with Nancy Slater and her Florida Cracker horses. Thanks for watching.